Hello, 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 and good time zone to you all. I hope you are all well. I hope you are all having a good Wednesday. Or very early Thursday, depending on where you are. Welcome in. Glad to have you as always. Oh. So, today is the day. <clears throat> today we finish another game on stream. Again, it was a shorter game, but uh, we're going to finish another one. Uh, as a reminder, on Monday we will be starting the Life is Strange remastered, the first game. Um... A lot of bad reviews on Steam. A lot of bad reviews. Again, I've never played the you know the original, so. But yeah, there's a lot of bad reviews on Steam about uh, about the game. Uh, I did download it today. I booted it up for the first time to take a quick look at it, and once again. I am forced into Xbox controls. A, B, X, and Y. Why they don't convert it to PlayStation controls, I don't know. Why don't why they don't allow that, I don't know. Very annoying, very aggravating. It's like Xbox is the only controller that people use for a PC. I haven't had an Xbox since the original. So I, I don't use Xbox. I use PlayStation. And even then, that was limited. I had a PlayStation 2 a year, number of years ago. Never had a 3. Didn't have the 4 when it first came out. I bought my first 4 in 2020, thanks to Uncle Sam and the government. I was able to get a PlayStation 4 Pro. And then I just got a PlayStation 5 last year. So, but, you know, to force you to use one set of controllers for a decent gameplay is ridiculous. And through Steam, Steam registers my PS5 controller because I use it for every other game. So, if there's any quick time actions in Life is Strange that require me to push the specific button, I'm going to be fucked. Because just like DR3, Danganronpa 3, I'm going to have to do the conversion quickly in my head and then push the button. It's just, just aggravating. It really is. So, now, I will apologize up front. Uh, I have not had dinner yet. My dinner is not ready. So... Uh, this obviously will not take the full stream because we're pretty much at the end. We have two mini bosses to fight, uh, and then the um, two stage, basically two stage, uh, big boss fight. But that is definitely not going to take the full stream. I'll probably do. We could probably do some Stream Raiders Dungeons for the rest of the stream, depending on how long we have. Uh, but when my dinner is finally ready, I will take a break. The bad thing is, I think it's probably going to be ready in the middle of the, the boss fight, which is going to be a pain in the dick. So... 
but I just ran through my um, my viewer stuff for Stream Raiders. I'm gonna set up uh, set up the captain stuff, and then we're gonna get going with um, RPG. So what do we got? Two healers, two flying rogues. Okay. Anything good in the store? Yeah, monk scrolls. That's about it. So as I said before, um, we're running the top here. We're going for the token chest and then <clears throat> the big boss. So we're going to go here. We're going to do monster mash. Alrighty. I gotta play some flying rogues. Might as well do it here. And, uh. Let me start down here. Alright, ladies and gents, boys and girls, and everyone in between, the stage is set. Get your fighters on the field, it is clobbering time. Any and all help is greatly appreciated. Let me, uh... Yeah, yeah, shush. Garbage. Let us bow out of Pressel Rocks. Let us boot up Super Mario RPG. It should be working nice. Should be. Yep, there we go. So, if I was playing off stream, I would have grinded for level 30. Um, Two eighteen. Two oh three. Because since I have, I usually use Geno for the uh, the boosts. But since I bought two crystallines and two power blasts, I really don't need Geno. So I'm thinking of switching to Mallow for the big boss. Already did this here. We're on to the next boss. Here's the report. Sir, drill bit will be finished on time. We're ahead of schedule. We'll make Smithy proud. Good work, everyone. The harder we work, the stronger Smithy will become. The weapons we manufacture here will be just think of Smithy takes over Mario's world. We can do anything we want. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Not so fast. You sure are a cocky bunch. I rule this world. Don't you forget it. It's Mario. Mac 2 and Yuridovich 2 didn't stop him. No. No. Leave Mario out of this. I'm the one you need to worry about. Not him. Mario, you're about to make the longest jump of your life. D you're ignoring me! take two of them out, and then we'll take down the manager. This way those pounders don't respawn.
Um, well, let the moon, let the moon over the day. My genius and brawn are lost in these fields. Fucking Mario. It's alright, Bowser. Pet him on the shelf. Um, well, <laughs> on we go. You there, are you the one in charge here? Do you know what your weapons have been doing to our world? Stop this nonsense at once. I'm afraid that is impossible. Any dissent against Smithy will be dealt with by immediate meltdown. M -m -m meltdown? You can't scare me, I've got Mario by my side. Dissenters will be eliminated. Production will continue. I blocked that. And it still took 27 off. That's not how I wanted to hit. That's how I wanted to hit. Gino's getting fucked here. Is that me, you bish? That was scary. But we can't run away now. We've got to kick these low lives out of our world. I think this is it. I'm gonna take Mallow because of uh, Star, uh, the Star, Star Jump, Star Rain, yeah. Oh, I forgot there's one more. The Factory Chief, Mario. I'm surprised to see you here. But this is the end of the line for you. This is the closest you'll ever get to Smithy, so savor the moment. Harumph. You'll be fodder for my incredible invention, the gun yoke. You see, he doesn't hit as hard as Gino. Fire the breaker! Doesn't hit as hard as Geno, but his uh, AoE magic is going to be good for uh, the last battle. Ow. 
almost forgot my time attack there. Yeah. Ow! Let's give it for the biscuit. Nope. Is Mallow dead? I think Mallow's dead. If not, he's really close. Oh, it missed him. There we go. All right, that's it. Time for the big boss. Hmm. The production line hasn't halted. Look, Mario, this is where the weapons come from. <clears throat> This must be where Smithy makes his weapons. To find the last star piece and stop the factory, we've got to defeat him first. Mario, there's no turning back now. Are you ready? Our quest is almost over. And when the time comes... Come on, let's get this show on the road. Okay, let me go back and save first. This is it! Remember, the button controls the crane. the last star piece. Huh? You ready to finish your tour of the factory, huh? All right, then. Come on, Santa. How about a little demonstration? Yo, Smithy! Stop making those things and hand over the star piece now. Huh? Go <laughs> for So you're Mario. Looks like we're going to have a little dispute over the star. Just hand it over and get out of my castle. My, my. We are a little touchy today, aren't we? You know, I'm actually growing rather fond of this place. Please don't make us go through any more. Just give us the star. Damn. Or if better yet... Why don't you give me your stars? Why, then I could easily conquer this world. Then we could get rid of all wishes and create a world filled with weapons. Get over here! I'll crush you all! Let's go, Santa! Ho, ho, ho! Ow, fucker. Items. All right. Crystalline. A power blast. Oh, got a freebie. Nice. And we must take out the smelter first. He can't make any, any fucking buddies. I ain't worried about him. Let's 
smelter's gotta go first before we tackle anybody else. Yeah, because those little shyster bastards are nothing. Oh! Smelter's done! Now it's just Smithy. Got about uh, 15 minutes left on Stream Raiders battle. Any and all help always appreciated. This might take us an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, I completely screwed up on that time attack. Already. Phase one, already done. Calm down, Smithy. Your head looks like a geyser. Don't get so worked up. Think of your blood pressure. We just built this yesterday, and the foundation's very weak, so stop shaking the floor. How utterly annoying. Bolts give way. Huh? What the? How in the heck? All right, final phase. Tech I get technically only has two phases. No. Oh, I'm burning, seething. Never have I been so wronged. It is time. I will show you my real form. I will show you my true power. I will teach you respect. And I shall have my revenge. No. This is the pain of the dick one now. Because now you have head and body. Ooh, come on, you penny ants. Tank form. Defense first. And now power. And now I start using my rock candy, my couple rock candies there, and my, uh, <laughs> um, shit. My rock candies and my firebomb. Until the until he can't move. Nope. There are times I've had like six or seven rock candies coming into this. Ha! Miss. Oh, this one hurts. Cause this one is the one that casts the uh his old wizard form casts the magic. Can't move. Okay. All right. Uh, you're going to do hit point rain on yourself. All right. Now it's just a slog fest. Hundred uh, special hit point rain for Mario. Sword rain. This hurts. Wasn't too bad. Five seventy two. 
456, nice. Spear ring, yeah, there's another one that hurts. I'll have Peach heal now. Burning with power, okay, yep. Which means his bottom can move again. Now we do Star Ring. Are you kidding me? Boulder. That's a nice boulder. Yeah, the, there would be no way I could do uh, 30 jumps because the Y, the y button just... It, it doesn't register as well. Back to the smooth. This is the the item box one. See, my timed attacks are not hitting. Haha, <laughs> miss, fuck you. really have to push the Y button. I'm really pushing the Y button in. Hold on a sec. This, this form is really weak to physical. I mean, it may be a magic user, but it's really weak to physical. Fuck, two attacks? Cheat, bastard. Miss, ha. Ah. Four eighty. And ladies and gents, that is it. it. Didn't even take us a half hour. Oh, my body and head are burning. It's not possible. I don't believe it. I'm finished. Done for. Didn't even take us a half hour. Actually, I thought it'd take us an hour, hour and a half. Didn't even take us a half hour. Didn't it, for the first Dream Raiders battle isn't even done. I do enjoy this game. Come on, Mario. Send the last one way up high. Of course, it's gold. So we'll do some Dream Raiders dungeons after this. Try and build up some keys. There we are. All seven. Thank you, everyone. The Star Road is back to normal. And... Time for Gino to go bye bye.
But you can see how Peach is like almost a necessity in these last couple battles because of her group hug and uh, the group healing. goes and out comes the blue skies this is one of the best endings the music I love how we flash back to uh, the various groups Prince Mallow is home in Nimbus land with King and Queen Nimbus to take his rightful place amongst the Nimbus land royals. Bowser and the Koopa Troop rebuilding his castle. He's yelling at the shy guy and there's a little car, uh, clown car out there. Jonathan Johnny Jones. Err. We never got the big Yoshi, but... I think we had to feed him Yoshi cookies in order for him to grow. But yeah, on the Super Nintendo, I was able to, to beat the uh, Boshi. Torovsky. I love how Frog Fuchsius just rises up there. And see, if you didn't know what happened to Valentina, this is where you find out. If you never go back up Booster's Tower to see, this is where you finally find out what happened to Booster and Valentina and Dodo. Get married and marry more. Of course, Mario, Toadstool, Yoshi, the Chancellor, and Toad. And now again, one of the best endings in the game. And there's our boy Luigi. I love this ending. I love this music. The parade is so cool. The music, so fabulous. Again, baby's first RPG. But it it's a really good game. I do enjoy it. It is one of my favorites. Dinah and Mike's uh, hitching a ride on the Big Bob.
Here comes Croco and his bandits to plunder fucking Bowser's castle. the boosters train and of course booster likes his beetles <laughs> the sniff it stole from Croco Boosters in the clown car, and here comes Bowser breathing flames. Johnny Jones with the squid uh, pushing the pirate ship. And I love this transition. I love this transition from day to night. And everything gets the, uh, the flashing lights on it now. Mushroom Kingdom castle in the background like Disneyland. And this firework here can change depending on how many of the fireworks you bought from the uh, mole in Moleville. It's the traditional toad head or fire flower or superstar. So depending on how many of those fireworks you have in your inventory at the end of the game will determine what image shows up. And that's it. The end. 
Now, if you push the button, you'll go back to the menu screen or the bit, you know, the intro. But if you leave it alone for a bit, the traditional Mario. And I think this will be perfect to run our battle with. Me, Fast Freddy, and Brad uh, 0060. Um, where are they? I don't know where they are, but I think we'll give. I think they're hanging out here. So we'll give ourselves some defense. That orc slayer is about to go down. Myself and uh, Brad with our ranged fighters. I'm gonna pick them off one at a time. We should be able to get them. There we go. GG's, everybody. All right. And Fast Fred, congratulations for that 15 gold. And again, I think we're going to switch to uh, dungeons now. So we're going to get out of this here. Do I have to? I actually can't. I can't advance the game. I'm stuck here, so. So that's it. I don't remember if I closed out. I don't know if I closed out. Uh, pretzel rocks. Did I close it out? I did. We're going to go back into pretzel rocks. Put a little higher than normal. And. Because you got to run this through the Stream Raiders app. You can't. Or the, you know, the desktop program. You can't run it through the website. Then I probably have to do updates. We shall see. But thank you everyone for stopping on, stopping in, stopping by. Yeah, I gotta update now. I don't use this that often. I don't. Only when I, you know, only because you have to run dungeons and uh, dungeons and versus battles through this. Uh, which reminds me, I did get an email from Captain TV Stream Raiders. Uh, they're going to have drops for specific viewers. Uh, I think this weekend for Valentine's Day and uh, the next versus event is this Friday goes for 24 hours so good stuff on the horizon okay we use stream raiders on stream raiders as a backdrop so all right two flying rogues two healers 
Anything good in the shop, eh? Not really. A couple bomber scrolls. Eh. There we go. What time is it? 701. It just switched over. I bought that just in time. Anything here? Not really. All right, dungeons. Our best run was seven. Shut up, Jerry. All righty. If we lose. We lose. Uh, actually, flag bears. All right, we're going to try this. You see how well we do. Probably going to play like crap. But at least it's easy to... Uh... Oh, that's right, dungeons. Oh, I... Lock, I always lock it up when I do that. There we go. <sighs> so. Anybody have any plans for Valentine's Day? I, I don't. I don't currently. So, uh. Let me shut this off. I'll turn that one back on. Um, yep. I don't have any plans currently for Valentine's Day. Other than streaming, obviously. Um, the wife hasn't said if we're doing anything special, so. There's, uh, there's actually a meeting going on at my fire hall tonight. Uh, every, every year during Lent, we run a fish fry. Uh, we do a fish fry on Ash Wednesday and then every Friday during Lent. And we make pretty good money. I live in a region where, uh, they like their fish fries on Fridays. So, uh, we started this actually my first full year in 2005 was our first year. And we've done it every year since. 2020 there was a you know we started it but we couldn't finish it because of covid uh and then last year we uh we modified it because we used to have uh split 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 dinners basically you had the choice of coming in and dining or you had the i could probably turn this down now you had the choice of coming in and dining in the fire hall. We had tables set up. We had, you know, our our firefighters and spouses and, and friends would serve as or act as servers and busters and stuff. And you had the choice of coming in and sitting down and eat, or you could call up and order takeout. Um, I was the person in charge of answering the phone for takeout orders. I'd you know take your order, tell you what time to show up to the fire hall. And around that time, because obviously, you know, uh, people would also walk in and, and, and order for takeout. Uh, you know, we'd have people cycling in every day, every day, and or every every fish fry night, every dinner night. And we would do between six to eight hundred dinners, depending on weather, of course. Again, I'm in a region that gets a lot of snow. So depending on the weather, you know, we would get between, we would do between 600 and 800 dinners a night. So that's a lot. Last year, we modified it to take out drive through only. Now we're a fire hall. We don't have like a drive through window. Uh, but what we did is the way our fire hall is set up. If as soon as you come in our main door to the right is our kitchen. To the left is our club room where the firefighters hang out. Chago! My water? Yes, yeah, right here. <laughs> okay. 
Welcome in, Jago. Thank you for the hydrate. Hope you're doing well today. So, I was just we uh, we just beat Super Mario RPG, and uh, now we're gonna run. It's going good. It's going good. Again, we just finished Super Mario RPG. Uh, now we're gonna do Stream Raiders Dungeons for the rest of the night because I don't want to start a new game. You know, maybe we'll go another hour. This might be a short night. You missed it? Ah, it's all right. You can catch the VOD. This may be a short night because I uh, I still haven't had dinner. So, and uh, it's 7 o'clock and it's, you know, I'm going to be getting kind of hungry. You were playing Demon Slayer. Nice. I saw, uh, I did watch the Nintendo Direct and I saw that a Demon Slayer game is coming to the Switch. So... But yeah, I was just talking about uh, Fish Fry at the Fire Hall. Um, so yeah, uh, the way we did it in 2021, uh, our, you walk in our main door, the kitchen is on the right, the our club room is on the left. The kitchen would put the dinners together, close them up, bring them to the club room, and we would sort them by the type of fish. We offer beer battered fish, uh, breaded fish. We used to have baked fish, but... We didn't do that, and we're probably not going to do it again this year because the baked fish cools quickly. So we're going to have beer battered and breaded fish. We have shrimp. We have chicken fingers. And you can um, you can come in. You Actually, not necessarily come in. You would drive up past our... Um, drive up past our truck bay, place your order with some of the firefighters outside... They would run in, we would bag them, send them on their way. Uh, and I used to say last year that my back was killing me because of um, because of doing that. So we'll see what happens. Ten more defense. Oh, Got to do common units come back. Oh. Uh, all right, this we're going to need the robe. Oh. So. But yeah, okay. Uh, all right, let me scroll back on chat here. But yeah, it's already 7 o'clock, Jago. Yeah, kitchen food. It does require a lot of work. It requires a lot of uh, a lot of help. Um, in the kitchen, we had about eight to ten people between uh, guys cooking, and then when the stuff was cooked, um, putting everything together, the putting all the dinners together, shuttling them over to uh, the club room. Um, putting our stuff together and then shipping them out. So it, it was good. But, uh, but yeah, last year was a really good year. Again, we didn't have a lot of the overhead because of, you know, because we didn't buy any of the dining products like salt, pepper, you know, the regular condiments, um, placemats. Um, what else? Uh, packets of stuff so you know we did pretty good last year and we're hoping to keep that up uh, and there have there was a meeting tonight condom mints yes condom mints <laughs> um, but yeah I'm, it's gonna be fun there ha they were having a meeting tonight uh, to straighten stuff out and the one guy texted me and said, hey, do you still want to work in the club room? I said, sure, I'll work. I can do that. So I'll be uh, one of the guys in there again. But we have to, part of the reason my back was hurting is the tables are not at waist level. So I'm, I was doing a lot of bending over. We got to see if we can find a way to raise those tables. And actually, I think they sell like table lifts, table leg lifts that are like pyramid shapes 
So actually, let me let me come over here. Yeah, something like this. Something like this. Table leg lifts. So you can raise shit up. I wonder if those would work. And they're... Set of four is 15 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond. But they have a bunch of others. So I may I may look into the Yeah, you seen those if you yep. Those should help uh Oh those should help lift the table up so we're not bending over. Um I'll I'll draw I, I don't care, I'll drop sixteen bucks for a set of four and we'll see how they work. And if they work well, maybe the company will splurge and buy some for the rest of the tables. This way we're not killing our backs. So. I am off all day tomorrow, actually. I do have to take... Uh, I got to take the dog to the vet. So. Maybe I'll stop at Bed Bath and Way Beyond. And uh, see if they have those. Take them up to the fire hall. Because those seem pretty sturdy. I mean. It's narrow where the table leg is. And then it spreads out to give a nice, nice wide base. So we'll, uh, I'll try and do that. But uh, Fast Freddy and DJ DJ Radioactive Chaos K Ray, thank you very much for helping out with uh, um, Stream Raiders Dungeons. I don't do too many of this. I don't do too many dungeon battles because I mean. If I'm just doing dungeon battles, it's one thing because it takes a lot. But if I'm uh, uh, playing a game, I don't like doing this because it's a five minute, six minute battle. And I don't like the quick, you know, constantly stopping every six minutes to run a battle. So. So, yeah, thank you all for all your help. We'll see how well we do in this one. After this is the boss battle, of course. Every three floors. Every third floor, I should say, is a boss battle. Uh, rice milk. Thank you very much. Having a good time. Again, I don't know. Uh, I really don't have anything else planned for today. Uh, again, I did start up Life is Strange Remastered. Uh, I downloaded it, started it up. I'm pissed that you have to. It has Xbox controls. I mean, obviously my my PlayStation controller still works, but I'm pissed that it comes up as uh, Xbox controls. Yeah, <laughs> we're coming. Hold your butts. Get them before the hatch. GG's everybody. Well done. Well done. Let's collect our next boon. Range units. Oh, fire rate increased. I like that one. Boss battle. Oh, fuck. And what a time to need range, too. Stay away from this son of a bitch. We'll hit him. From, we'll hit him from range. So we'll see what happens. What are you brawling me now for, Jago? Okay. Oh. But yeah, I don't. 
I'm very hungry at the moment. I don't know if dinner's ready. It should be ready by now. It's been cooking for two damn hours. So I'm going to let this one run. I'm going to go check on my dinner to see if it's done yet. And if it is, I'll just go radio silent while I eat and we'll still run dungeons. Okay, I have returned, and uh, Xbox controls, Jago. Uh, Life is Strange Remastered comes up Xbox controls, and it's aggravating. Because once again, I am forced to use Xbox controls. I can still use my PlayStation controller, but the commands are A, B, X, and Y. Maybe once I shut down and restart... Because I installed it today before I restart, you know, and I didn't restart the computer. Maybe once I restart, it'll uh, it'll fix it, but I doubt it. 
but uh, there are a lot of negative reviews on Steam for this game. So it's going to be interesting. A lot of hate against this game. So, But Fast Freddy, DJ, KSK, Tigre Timo, thank you very much. I want to curse these bastards. Let's go. Yes, negative. Oh, a lot of negative stuff. GG's, ladies and gents. Very good. All right. Uh, vampire spawn a flying support on match start, which can heal and prioritize unholy units. Dagger assassin units damage and movement speeds increased. Okay. When I did some, yeah. We'll go light armor. Alrighty. Um, I need to place a healer. Where's my Where's my healer? There it is. Uh, let's go up here. Um, so, uh, my dinner is ready. It is Italian sausages with peppers and onions. Uh, my mother cuts up peppers and onions and soaks them in oil and hot sauce. Yes, it's, it is the first Life is Strange. It's the Life is Strange remaster, Jago. This here, Life, oh. Life is Strange Remastered is the first one. Oh, Dead by Daylight's got an update. But, uh, where'd it go? Right here. Yeah, Life is Strange Remastered. A lot of uh, discussions. Uh, actually, let's go back to Community Hub. Just play the original. There's like zero stars. I don't know who any of these people are. Not recommended. Thumbs down. Not recommended. Not recommended. They are hammering this thing. So. And yes, Jago. Um. As I was saying, my mother cuts up the peppers and onions, soaks them in a bowl with oil and hot sauce, puts them in a, uh, a oven safe dish and cooks the the sausages in like the peppers and onions juice. So in between battles, I'm going to go radio silent while I eat. And uh, obviously after the battle, we'll, we'll do a little more, but. One of the actors went on strike. She used she used to voice in this game. Interesting. Again, I've never played any of them, but when Life is Strange: True Colors came out, Steam had a bundle sale for the all three. Uh, the for Life is Strange remastered, Before the Storm remastered, and then True Colors. So I bought all three. And I also have uh, Life is Strange Two that I bought because it was on sale at one time. So, um, it's all right. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat. I'm going to leave it up like this so you can at least see what's going on. As I eat this and uh, taste how spicy it is, I am reminded of how I almost ended up in the hospital last night. So, uh, for dinner, I had some DiGiorno's frozen pizzas, okay? Well, 
I think I'm getting to the age where the sauce is affecting me as far as heartburn goes. Um, so I was having some heartburn last night. And last night about 8, 8.15. Oh, Jago, you have no idea. Um, I was leaning over working on something. And, you know, heartburn, little gas, you feel a little burning. I had, it was so, so rough. I felt like I was vomiting lava. It came up, it hurt so bad. I was choking and gasping for air. Luckily, I was near my kitchen. So I'm coughing. Again, this is going to be completely disgusting. So if you don't want to hear it, feel free to mute. But I was coughing and spitting and dry heaving in the sink. Um, luckily, again, I was in my kitchen. I went to my fridge. I grabbed, uh, I grabbed the milk. I started chugging milk. Uh, my mother bought some Klondike bars, which are a nice, quick, frozen treat. I'm eating a Klondike bar. I was, oh my God, that was, I swear to God, I thought I was going to stop breathing. I was going to start choking because my, my throat swelled up. But, oh my God, that hurt. Um, it wasn't until later that evening, later last night, that I realized In addition to the pizza that I ate, I had some of these. These taste very good, but they are very hot. So eating those, no bugles, not burgers, bugles. Eating those chips. Eating those chips on top of the red sauce from the pizza did not do any, me any favors. That fucking hurt. <sighs> All right, let's see how we do here. So, all right, we got the power boost. But yeah, I prefer... Uh, I prefer the Cool Ranch bugles, but I haven't been able to see. I haven't seen them in a while. But uh, take it in and throw it up. Uh, all units gain five more speed. Armored units, third. Oh yeah. As much as I'd like all units deal five more, armored deal thirty percent more. We'll go with that. What's up there, buddy? Oh, we need some more ranged here. Take down the smogger. So. But yeah, that hurt. Uh, it wasn't comfortable. It was, it was not fun. No, it was not funny. So. Okay, next battle. I'm going to go radio silent again and eat. Enjoy the tunes. Enjoy the stream raiders.
Demon369 with the Epic War Beast. Thank you very much for that Epic Unit. Very kind, very generous of you. Again, I don't plan on getting very far in these dungeons. So, you know, I'm doing this for fun, but any and all help is always appreciated. Critical Role still going on. As far as I know, Jago. I mean, I don't, I don't follow it. But as far as I know, it's still going. I thought I saw a tweet about it. I don't know. These are so good. So good. We don't need a spell. We don't need no stinking spells. But Fest Freddy, Chaos K, Demon, DJ Radioactive, thank you all. Thank you all for your help. You're all phenomenal people. Say, where you going, Birdie? All right, next boss battle. What do we got? We do explosive assassins. 
Oh, this son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Ranged. Ranged. Oh. I didn't want to click out of that. All right, folks. Going back to Radio Silent. And then when we're done, I have actually some things to discuss. Nothing big, but... Ha ha ha, you funny, Jago. Ha ha ha. And actually, now that, I, now that I remember, I can actually switch back to viewer on here. Because I have the captain running through the uh, app. Alrighty. So, I guess the big topic of today is your thoughts on the Nintendo Direct. Uh, personally, there was nothing there that I was really excited over. I don't play soccer games. I don't play Earthbound. <clears throat> yeah, I don't play Xenosaga. Xenosaga. I know a lot of people are excited for that. Warby's going in. Um, there were a bunch of people excited for the uh, the Mario Kart DLC, which again I haven't played. I think I I think I had eight for the Wii U. I don't have the one for the Switch. Um, a lot of those. 
Oh, they almost look like indie games. I don't play any of them. Splatoon. I have Splatoon for the Switch. I have Splatoon 2. <coughs> I haven't played it in a long while. But, uh... It seems interesting. Uh, let me see. Mm, excuse me. Let me find the Nintendo account and we'll go back over some of the stuff that they announced. Oh, and, uh, Hydrate, yes, sir. Oh, but Demon, <clears throat> Demon Chaos DJ, thank you all for your help. While this goes. Yeah, that rogue is going to get shocked to hell. This is why you need range for this dude. All right, GG's, everybody. Uh, when allies go, all eyes is a large area heal. Ah, what the hell? We'll go with Lance of Ruin. Uh, and look at that. <clears throat> this is a good warrior board. Uh, anyway. As I was looking here on... On Twitter. Uh, not that, again, not that you'll ever see this, but... Much love to Amanda Win Lee, uh, the voice of our favorite, uh, our favorite journalist Ichiko Oya, and our favorite innkeeper's daughter Yukiko Amagi. She uh, she fell and broke a rib yesterday getting out of bed. So much love to her. Hope she gets better. I saw Faye Mata tweeted that she's been sick as a dog for uh, a week or two here, so I hope she gets better. So where is where is the Nintendo account? Lenebanese are going through my Lenebanese <clears throat> are going this way. Da, 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 da. Where's the Nintendo? Come on. I think it was one of the first ones I followed, too. There it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Again, I, I've never played one or two, so I wasn't really... How about Aaron? Yeah, she was sick for a while, too. Uh, so, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Again, I didn't play one or two. Uh, Earthbound games. Mario Strikers. Um, I think she's okay, Chaco. She was streaming the other day. <clears throat> I don't think she's obviously 100%, but... I think she was doing okay. Yeah, everybody's getting sick. <clears throat> everybody's getting ill. So, you know, obviously, I wished, you know, I gave 
Amanda, a virtual hog on, on Twitter. Um, I don't follow Faye, but I saw she, uh, uh, some, I think somebody must have retweeted her or it's because I follow a bunch of the other voice actors. Um, but yeah, I remember Aaron posting she wasn't feeling well for a bit. These are all fabulous people. I mean, I, I, I got to meet Amanda. <clears throat> I got to meet Amanda in L.A. When I went to uh, the L.A. LA Comic Con. She is a fabulous, funny individual. So. So, yeah. The Nintendo Direct. Mario Strikers. I don't play soccer games, so that didn't bother me. Portal and Portal 2. I don't play. I mean, Splatoon 3 I could get behind. I've played 1 and 2. Uh, Chrono Cross, or Chrono Cross, however you want to pronounce it. <clears throat> I didn't play Chrono Trigger, so you know, I don't know how Chrono Cross would be. I know it's a, it's an RPG again. <clears throat> I don't play Metroid Dread, so the update there didn't bother me. Mario Strikers Charge, yeah. I, I'm not a soccer guy. I, I'm, I don't. I had Mario Sluggers, I think, for the Wii. The baseball one, I had that, but I'm not a soccer person. Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports, you know, I might be able to get behind. You know, the, the Wii Sports ported for the, the Switch. That might be cool. Uh, again, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Paid DLC. Well, you'll get 48 remastered courses over the course of a year. Uh, triangle strategy? Yeah, no. Again, Xenoblade. Live Alive. I don't know. I've never heard of that, so. But there's no boxing. Yes, there is no boxing in the, this one. Um, Taiko Drumming. And Taiko no Taijutsu. Yeah, no, that's not for me either. SD Gundam Battle. Yeah, that's another no for me. Klonoa. Never heard of it. Uh, Kirby's Adventures in Dreamland or Kirby in the Forgotten Land. That comes out next month. Uh, the Disney and Pixar racing game. I know there's going to be a lot of people that want, want to play that. Uh, Disney Speedstorm. Crossplay, split screen, online multiplayer modes. Again, Mario Kart with Disney and Pixar people. That trailer on Kirby, yes. The Kirby trailer was very funny, Jago. I will give you that. That's going to hurt the mouth. Yeah, inhaling a car. I don't think we're going to win this one. Seven against 40. This fucking uh, archer is doing a job back here. Here they all come. Holy shit, we're dead now. Oh, yeah, we were toast on that one. Yeah, that's just way too many for us. We did. Again, thank you for everybody. Let's try this again. Shut up, Jerry. I wish you didn't have to go through this every time. Uh, I need to place another healer. So where's my healer? Back. Collect those archer scrolls. Um, and just flag bearers. 
Oh, play some more units. <clears throat> I can double dip now. I can play my personal account and the captain account. So anyway, yeah, Dizzy Speedstorm, Front Mission, never heard of. A Splatoon 3 is probably the only one I could really get behind. No Man's Sky, never played. Advanced Wars, 1 plus 2, yeah, no. Fire Emblem, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, I have the... I have the original. I think I don't know if I had the full game or if I had the demo, but I have the original for the Switch. So yeah, th those are the games. Again, nothing, nothing I'm really over the moon about. Nothing I'm really excited about. So, time is eight o'clock. We'll do a couple more stream raiders run here. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Again, it's a Dynasty Warriors version of uh, Fire Emblem taking place in the uh, universe of the three houses. But again, I think I have the, uh, I think I, I think I have it. I just don't have it on my switch because it didn't have the room. <clears throat> I could buy this crimson necro. Or I could, let's see. These are the. <clears throat> they should lower the price. <clears throat> well, I guess not. So that doesn't really. It's not really that big of a thing. Yeah, Dicey Wars did that with Zelda. Yeah. I was to say maybe they should lower the price of the keys for captains, but that's I can understand that. Still nothing here that I want. I'd love to get 10 to get these tomes, but I don't think that's going to happen either. And I don't think I'm going to get any help on this one. Hundred percent discount. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Not a chance in hell. So, yeah, let me bring this back up. Don't bra me, Jago. Ain't <sighs> eh, gotta believe now. Nah. Oh. Yeah, I think I think everybody abandoned me, which is understandable. And you see, I have once I got on my personal account, once I got all the Necromancer scrolls that were available for purchase and the two uh, skins. And the three skins out of here. I, I haven't played Dungeons in like a week on my personal account. You max out at 500 keys. So I'm saving these for the uh, for the next run. You see, they max out at 500. I'm saving these keys for the next Dungeons run to see uh, what I can buy with them there. But... Uh, yeah, it's just me and my healer. <clears throat> I think we're going to die. I think we're going to die. Well, 
What do you mean that one time, Jago? There has been more 503 errors on Stream Raiders during this campaign than there ever has. It was down earlier. It was down earlier today, the Stream Raiders server. I don't know if it's because it's getting more popular or they're working on old shit, but... Yeah, but again, it was down earlier today, Jago. All right, it's just me and my healer. <clears throat> We're going to die because our little ghosty ghosty thing here is going to get into this machine and mutate into a fucking monster. Hi. You're going to attack or you're just going to sit there? Nope, you're just going to sit there. Ridiculous. Shut up, Jerry. I really wish we could skip that. Huh. I was already here. It broken. So let's close that out. Start it up again. It done got stuck. That's her last. Super boss. Dying light? <clears throat> I probably not, Jago. All right. Dungeons. Let's try this again. There we go. Let's see how this works. You might have to buy it. Yeah, that's... Again, that... I don't think those games... I, I don't know. I, it, if, I don't, if a game doesn't capture my interest, I'm probably not going to play it. Um, the games that I have, I've seen somebody else play and they piqued my interest uh actually a lot of them are from like watching markiplier if we go into my steam library <clears throat> the danganronpas i bought the danganronpas i have because it was suggested to me dead by daylight i saw you know people play DDLC was something I, uh, I heard about and I saw it on sale. Final Fantasies are a given. First Class Trouble I saw as actually Wade from the infamous trio, uh, Mark, Bob, and Wade. Wade Barnes. I saw Wade play it and it looked fun. The FNAF are, again, Mark. Ghost Hunters Core. I think that, that had a... a Brief surge uh, trying to fight back against Phasmophobia. But I don't think it caught on. I bought it because it was on sale again. I saw Wade play it, but Goose Goose Duck was free. Hoonie Pop, um, I bought those. Uh, I bought those because, again, I saw Mark playing them. Jackbox because uh, um, 
it was, you know, you know, when I was in Billy's community, there was talk about uh, <clears throat> having, like, party nights, and I thought I'd buy it to help out, and it never came to be. Uh, Life is Strange True Colors, I saw a couple people streaming. I, I saw, and they had the bundle of Before the Storm and True, uh, the first one. And then I found Life is Strange 2 on sale. Marbles on stream, I think that's free. Papers, please, I saw Mark and Jack Septic, I both play that. The Personas, that's a given. Phasmophobia, I watched a lot. You haven't heard from Billy? I haven't either, Jago. Uh, I've heard very little from him, from Erica. Again, they were getting settled in their new apartment or new home, whatever they have. <clears throat> Erica did post that, you know, there's they have a flower. Um, there's a flower outside their home or their, their apartment or whatever that Billy likes the scent of, but to Erica it smells like wet ass. I was laughing at that. So. But Phasmophobia, I saw a bunch of people playing at first. I didn't like it. Then I tried it. And it was okay, so I bought it. Potion Craft, I saw Markiplier play. This is like an alchemy game. And that reminded me strongly of Potions class in, in Harry Potter. So that's why I have this. Same thing with Power Wash Simulator. I saw Mark play this. Pummel Party, that was... Uh, again, I was part of a, a community that wanted to play Pummel Party, and I uh, never played it. Resident Evil Village, I saw Mark play, Mark and Jack. So I bought it when I was on sale, and I bought the bundle, that so it came with Resident Evil Reverse. SMT3, because it was the big thing. Uno, again, watched Mark play. And then, of course, all the Yakuza games because of uh, Bunny. Camper Nick and DJ. <clears throat> well, let's go. We only have this. Yeah, we only have this Swift Rogue here. Wow. Got creamed. Got fucking creamed. Shut up, Jerry. We'll go up here. I don't want to hop out of there. All right, what do we got here? <clears throat> Get these. <laughs> Yo, yeah, SMT three. That's a lot of Centurion scrolls there. And then I'll put a tank in front of that. Okay. So yeah, I've uh, I've actually been playing uh, Dead by Daylight on the weekends. Uh, I'm, I'm somewhat active in another community and they play Dead by Daylight on like Friday and Saturdays. So I've been joining them in, uh, DVD games. I wouldn't say I'm getting better. I still suck ass at it, but, uh, I'm not dying as quickly. So...
again, if I had more folks that came around and hung out, I wouldn't mind doing a, you know, a stream with a handful of people. <clears throat> Whether it be a, a DVD stream or a Phasmo stream or, like, again, a First Class Trouble, Uno, any of those group games. Now, I wouldn't be opposed to playing one of those, but... Uh, I'm going to turn Pretzel Rocks down a bit. It is kind of loud. Starting to get a headache. There we go. Alrighty. <clears throat> Potential. Jago, there are people that hit a thousand followers in months. Uh, I'm coming up on my one year affiliate anniversary next month, and I am, I'd say, barely above where I started. So, again, I, I do what I can. It may seem like a compl I'm complaining, and I don't want it to come off as that. I'm just. I was thinking about this earlier. Some people, you know, some people think that there's an opt there's optimists and there's pessimists. You know, optimists see every the bright side of everything, pessimists see like the negative side of everything. Um I'm a, I I call myself a realist. I don't sugarcoat anything. I say this is how it's, you know, this is what's happening. This is how it goes. Uh, unfortunately for me, most of the stuff that happens is negative. So, um, you know, it's what happens. And Jago, you're at seven. I'm at one thirty-five. That's okay. Correct. But I'm here four days a week. I am actively trying to be interested interesting not interested but interesting engaging um and you know this is what happens and then there are others who uh show up and have a dozen followers and you know 50 viewers within a couple weeks so i mean that's just way, the way things are i don't appeal to most people i'll say that one way or another because again i i get a report at the end of every stream you know jago there's uh you get a summary of your stream after every stream and you know there are people that will pop in and then pop out. And I understand that. But I don't I don't know. I don't know. There is no magic formula to boosting numbers, I guess. But some people have it and some people don't. I don't have it. So. And I said after the... Uh, the September thing that I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not really not as much as I was, you know, there were, there were times where I was really, you know, focusing and, and worrying and fretting over those numbers. Now, if it happens, if it happens, if it doesn't, it doesn't. And right now it's not happening. There may come a time where some magic, <laughs> I am doing gaming, Jago. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. One man wrecking crew. You know, I'll play the same games as others play. They're drawing in hundreds of people, and I'm drawing in one. <clears throat> oh, these 
both are good. We'll go flag bear. As much as I want the rogues. Let me one fifty. We'll do this. Okay. Well, yeah, I lost my train of thought. Well, yeah, unless some miracle happens and just one day something I do clicks with people and they start flocking in, which, again, I highly doubt. in front of that to protect my protect my uh, saint alright <clears throat> but anyway no this is life. This is my life. I try and be as welcoming as I can. I try and be as friendly as I can. I try and be as upbeat as I can. But, you know, I let's face it. I am not Pollyanna. I do not see sunshine and ra roses, sunshine and daisies 24-7. Uh, I, I, again, Jago, I, I do understand where you're coming from. But you are so busy that you don't have a regular schedule, so to speak. I mean, if you go to my YouTube, it's the same thing. But again, I am actively trying. I have a set schedule. I have set games. Obviously, if life comes, in, you know, life comes up, I have to adjust. Um... Ash Wednesday is going to be the perfect example. Uh, I'm going to be at Fish Fry, so I'm not going to be able to stream on Ash Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> also, during Lent, our drills at the fire hall get moved from Fridays to Wednesdays. So they're not you know, being interfered with. So during Lent, I'll probably have to pick a different day to stream. And I had to do this last year, too. I had to stream on a different day or just give up Wednesday. I think I gave up Wednesdays altogether. I might be able to do Thursdays. I might stream on uh, Mondays and Thursdays during Lent. Because I don't have anything going on on Thursdays. Playing Dying Light 2. Nice. But yeah, I might have to switch to Thursdays during Lent because I'm going to be busy. Obviously, Mondays I still stream. Tuesdays I have cards. Wednesday is going to be drill. I'll probably have to stream on Thursday and then Friday, fish fry, Saturday and Sunday stream. <clears throat> so yeah, now that I think about that, I'm going to have to change for Lent. I'm going to have to switch off for Wednesdays. But, you know shit happens I don't know there is no magic formula you know I keep seeing these keep seeing these posts hey if you're you know you have 10 viewers you're in the top 5% on Twitch I get two three and I think two of them are bots you know and again I understand people have to work. I understand people cannot be here all the time. 
But I also see that there are streamers that have the same three people say, well, at least the same three people every stream. You know, whether they purposely adjust their schedules to be there for that streamer, I don't know. I don't know what they do or how they plan. But, you know, I'm in a lot of different streams and in those streams, I see the same people every time and they're there all stream. I don't know. I don't I, I, I again, I'm sure this sounds bitchy and whiny. So. But as I said before, I'm a boring person. I lead a boring life. I don't have it. You know, I'm vamping while stream readers is going on. Because we beat the our tonight's game in an hour. Actually, no, it was a half hour because the first Stream Raiders battle wasn't even over before uh, before we beat the game. Why do I have exempts minutes? <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you for calling me boring. But I get you, I get you, Jago. And and, uh, and again, Jago, you are, and I I thank you for that. But again, I, I, I'm just saying, I'm being a realist. There are people who are in, you know, other streams, all stream, every stream. You know, I'm not, I'm, you know what, I, I'm, I'm done talking about it because it's just going to, I'm going to get, it's going to come off, it's going to come off worse and worse. And I don't want to do that because I want to sound like a whiny bitch and I'd rather, really rather not do that. throw an archer in here too so okay. all right next boon berserkers Ooh. I'll go berserker Oh, fuck you two. Anyway, don't apologize. Again, Jago, you have nothing to apologize for. Again, it's me. I have the issues, and I'm well aware of the issues I have. And talking about them does not make them go away. It does not make them any better. It only makes them worse. <clears throat> so, I think I'll do two more runs of dungeons. You know, two more team wipes, and I'll call it a night. That may take 10 minutes. That may take 30 minutes. So, I'll do that. I'll call it a night. We'll pick up again on Saturday with more Yakuza. Um, again, Yakuza, we're going to finish Yakuza Kiwami 2. Then play the Majima Saga. Then go on to Yakuza's 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 
Hopefully by that time I'll have been able to purchase Judgment at a discount. Because the PlayStation 4 version of Judgment was on sale for like 30% or 50% off. Actually, I don't think it was 50. I think the I think the PlayStation 4 version was $30 and it was on sale for 18. Uh, but the PlayStation 5 version of Judgment has not been on sale yet. So, Judgment, yes, Jago, Judgment, Judgment actually has two different versions. A PS4 version and a PS5 version. The PS4 version has been on sale before. It was just on sale. The PS5 version has not been on sale. Uh, Lost Judgment is a PS4 slash PS5. That was on sale, and I did buy that with some DLC stuff. So I have lost judgment. I do not have judgment. So I'm waiting for that to go on sale. Otherwise, I'm going to have to shell out the 40 bucks for that. Which, again, won't be horrible. But if I can get it on sale, I'll get, I'll get it on sale. So... But yes, for the foreseeable future, weekends are Yakuza days. Yakuza weekends. Uh, unless something special comes up. Which, again, I don't foresee anything special coming up. <clears throat> um, next month is my one-year affiliate anniversary. I don't have anything planned for that. Uh, I don't have anything planned for any holidays or, you know, birthday or anything like that, so. All right, she was done. All right, you're doing campaigns. <clears throat> the board meeting. We'll go with my paladin. And she doesn't have a lot, so I'll boost that. Again, Jago, I... I tried to celebrate... Um, <clears throat> I tried to do something for sub September. No, it's next month, Jago. Um, where's my photos here? March 14th. March 14th is my one year uh, affiliate anniversary. But again, I tried to do stuff for September, fell flat. Tried to do stuff for Thankmas, fell flat. I didn't really do anything for my birthday, but even that, fall fell flat. So I don't. I guess until I have more folks here to celebrate with, it, they're just going to be another stream day. <clears throat> Does she really only have... Oh, wrong one. It's got to be Scooter. Yeah. For, oh, okay, there they are. I'm wondering. I'm looking down here. I'm like, that's not a lot of people down here, but they're all up, they're all up here. So... There we go. Yeah, they're all up here. But this is a super boss chest. This is the, the big, big stuff. Uh, and while I'm here, uh, Pew Pew Sloth. Fabulous individual. I've said before, I follow her. Uh, she plays a lot of Dead by Daylight. <clears throat> She's been playing Bomberman, Super Bomberman, like online stuff. Uh, I think she's, she was playing Tetris 99. Uh, she's the latest follower. She just followed earlier today. So again, Pew, welcome in. I hope you enjoy your time here. Again, she's still streaming at the moment. So DJ Radioactive, thank you very much for the help in this battle. But... Uh, 
you know, she didn't know, Pew didn't know that I streamed. And be, that's because I didn't say anything. Because most streamers don't want you to self-promote. And I'm not going to go into somebody else's chat. We'll do a Templar. What the hell? Um, I don't go into other people's chats and promote myself because most streamers don't want that. They don't want you to self promote. <clears throat> and I'm not going to go into someone else's chat and promote myself and push myself when most. I wish I would stop doing that. When most frown upon it. <clears throat> no, not raid. Most streamers don't want you going into their stream and their chat promoting your channel, saying, hey, I stream, come over to mine, you know, that type of thing. Um, most streamers are, uh, you know, don't want you self promoting in their stream. So I don't do it. Um, but uh, Grant, uh, who is one of the followers on uh, on her in her channel, they were here Monday, I think, Sunday or Monday, and you know that they said hi to me in Pew's chat, and I put in, you know, I put in my my Cecil wave. I put this in her chat and she didn't realize that I had emotes and that I was a streamer. And I'm like, that's because I don't go around pushing myself in other people's streams because most people don't like that. So I, uh, you know, she right after hearing that she immediately came over and, and followed and, you know, obviously I thank you very much. Very kind of her. She is uh, very animated. <laughs> um, when I'm here working, uh, she's on uh, she's on the west coast of Canada, so she's. Uh, what time is it for me here? 8.30. I think it's 5.30 for her. Um, when she's on when I'm working here, I'll you know be lurking in her stream with the volume just about all the way down because obviously you don't want to uh, mute someone's stream and put the volume all the way down or else the view doesn't count. So I'll have my earphones on. I'll have the volume as low as I can while still you know listening. And she gets very loud <laughs> and, you know, a lot of screaming when she's being chased or being killed in Dead by Daylight. And it's hilarious because I won't hear any, you know, I won't hear anything or I'll be listening to like I'll be listening to something on YouTube and I'll be working and then I'll just hear this scream. <laughs> and it's hilarious. And I joke with her that, you know, the, <clears throat> the volume all the way down, I can hear it as if the volume was all the way up. And right, you know, because there are some, and again, there are some streamers who, it's not like they don't want you to use somebody else's emotes, but, you know, I'm sure that they would prefer you use their emotes. Yeah, see, I got 30 of each of those. That's, that's a good haul because that was a super boss. Get that one in before the time is up. Um, again, Jago, it's not, it's, it's not overly criticized. I don't know. Criticized is not really the, uh, the right word, but you know, there are some streamers who would obviously prefer you use their emotes because some people will see, um, 
somebody using their own emotes in somebody else's chat as a form of self-promotion. It's not everybody. Again, there's I've only been in... <clears throat> I think it was actually only one. But if there's one, there's probably more. I was in one person's stream where... Again, it's not like they didn't want anybody else's emotes used. They would just pre prefer their own. But... Again, it, it's, it's, it wasn't frowned upon. It wasn't, you know, the person wasn't chastised or anything like that. This is what they're going to do. Emotes are there to be used across Twitch. But, again, I still use, you know, I will use the streamer's emotes. Um, if I don't have access to them, I'll unlock them with channel points. Uh, or again, I'll use some of my own. I like my emotes. That's why I have them. <clears throat> you know, and I uh, down in my, you know, down in my about section, I list the, you know, emote creator and their Twitter handle as a recognition and as a thank you. I want other folks to know. Um you know, who made these fabulous emotes. Um, and I've said all along that this emote is probably my favorite. Out of all the emotes I have, that, that Rosa Love emote is my favorite emote. So, it is beautiful. It is colored well, shaded well, uh, all that stuff. I think she went offline. Yeah, she did. Dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. Campaign, she's done. Campaign, she's done. Anybody else running campaigns? Nope. Yeah, I don't know if Nevermind's done or not. Well, we're kicking ass here. Take down another obelisk. We're all sparkly. We got a tank. You guys are toast. All right, D G G D J. Armored 25, yeah, increased by 10. We'll do this one. Oh, this might be the perfect one for a dagger, too. Yep. This is perfect for dagger assassins. We're going to put this right up here to go after that house. Nope. And I can actually go and pick up my reward. 250 gold. Still no good. I saw that hydrate jock. I'll get it in a second. Still nothing good there. I mean, if I could get another necromancer here. I don't have any of these extra skins. See what I can get out of the chests here. I need two more. There's one. Three. Got it. All right, Jago. Thank you very much for the lurk, and always thank you for stopping by. I need 30 more, technically 29, 29 more tokens over five days. We should be able to get that this weekend, I hope. All right, now I'm going to get that hydrate. And I do appreciate the kind words, Jago. I really do. Oh, Jago had the trifecta up there. Alrighty. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Good times. Thank you, Jocko. You stay safe as well. Alright, never mind. Did put another one up. I hate these enemies will be revealed over time wars. Because you don't know how to plan for them. Ooh. Yeah, these two are offline. All right. So yeah, we're going to go two more deaths. <clears throat> So after this death, we'll go one more death, and then I'll call it a night. So. But yeah, after, after Life is Strange, I don't know what I'm going to play yet. Again, I do have uh, Before the Storm. I do have two. I do have True Colors. I have Resident Evil 7 on my PS5. I have Until Dawn on there. Uh, actually, let me, let me bring up my Google Doc. Hmm. I can actually adjust this now. Oh, that's kind of that is very bright. But Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, I already I have played now. Final Fantasy two, three, and five, thirteen, FNAF two, um, Resident Evil Village, SM three and five. Super, I forgot I have Super Mario three D World and Bowser's Fury on my Switch, along with Sunshine and Galaxy. 10-2 uh, as well on the Switch. Biohazard until dawn. Again, Danganronpa V3 can be moved over. I do have Ultra Despair Girls. Could always finish Final Fantasy 1. I would play that for like one or two streams until 4 came out. Uh, Strikers I could finish. Kiwami I actually have uh, I've actually finished. What the hell is this? Toby, Super Mario 64, Paper Mario, the original 7. Yeah, 7 Remake, Genshin, yeah, I'm, I'm probably never going to pick that up. I'm probably never going to pick up Genshin again. Um, I just have no interest in it. I don't. And there's, you know, I actually, there is one streamer that I was followed to and subbed to that has done nothing but play Genshin for the last year. And, you know, I, I understand people follow and unfollow and sub and unsub to streamers. Um, this isn't the first streamer that I've unsubbed and, you know, I have unsubbed. I haven't unfollowed because they're still a good streamer, but i all they do is play Genshin and I have zero interest in it. So I'm going to get my ass handed to me here. Are you fucking kidding me? You're getting stuck. He's fucking stuck. Stupid. He's stuck and he's going to get his ass handed to him now. Fucking die. The AI is so fucking dumb sometimes. So fucking dumb. That was such bullshit. Shut up, Jerry. So goddamn dumb. Ugh. 
It's unbelievable how stupid the AI is sometimes. What did they get stuck at? Anyway. Uh, I'm actually going to put... I got something to put away. Hold on. All right. But yeah, the AI in this can be so fucking dumb. Again, according to... Army. Um, where's my healer? Where can I get... I forgot where I can go to get information on the healers. But I could have sworn that if there are no enemies to heal, the healer will actually attack. They have fucking... They do 32 damage. So, that one time I put the healer out there, why didn't it attack anything? It just stood there. Anyway. So, yeah. We died one death. <clears throat> as soon as we die in this round of ba dungeon battles, that's going to be it for the night. I try to see what the best. I try to see where everybody is, what the best warrior is, you know, best fighter, I should say. Not necessarily warrior, but best fighter to use. This is actually the far. I think the farthest I've gotten. It looks like there's 60 tiers. It looks like there's. I'm on tier 59. Looks like there's 60 tiers per campaign per event. This is the furthest I've got. Furthest I've gotten uh, 59 there. That's the furthest I've gotten. So, and it's still going for five more days. They're going to be doing double token days, probably starting tomorrow at like 2 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. I think it's two. It, usually, it's 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific, which, you know, equates to 2 p.m. Eastern. It's usually 2 p.m. Eastern when stuff changes in Stream Raiders. Or, again, 11 Pacific. So, probably 2 p.m. tomorrow. 2 p.m. tomorrow or 2 p.m. on Friday. Uh, it'll switch to double token days. Because it's usually the last four or five days of a campaign they do double tokens. Um... But I I got an email from Stream Raiders asking me to take a quick survey. And, you know, the, the, one, of the, the, one of the freeform questions they asked is, you know, what would you change about Stream Raiders? And I said that once, obviously once all of the big prizes are gone, which when I say big prizes, I mean up to here. Once you get that, uh, like that five-star diamond badge, every tier after that is 300 tokens. Now, I can understand needing 300 tokens up to this level because you're getting 300 gold, you're getting 200 gold here, you're getting 150 gold and another badge. 150 gold, 150, 150. I can see, you know, needing 300 tokens to get this extra stuff. But after that, you need 300 tokens for 100 gold. 
Or if you don't buy the battle pass, you need 300 tokens for 50 gold. And quite frankly, I think it's ridiculous. I think that I have no problem with them keeping it like 300 tokens up to this level. After that, I think they should drop it to 200. Every tier after the five star badge should be 200 tokens. Because 300 tokens is a lot of tokens just for 50 gold. That's a lot of battles. Considering the most you can get in a battle normally is four. So you do the math. 300 divided by four. It's over 70 battles because 70 times four is 280. So five, 75, 75 battles. You need to fight 75 battles to get 100 gold. Not worth it. So, but as you can tell, I have. All right, are we ready here? Yep, me and DJ. All we have is uh, Buddy over here, Buddy Boy there. I think he's a ranged unit too. No, he's not a ranged unit. We are though. There we go. Thank you, DJ. Let's go. Flag fire, uh, flag bearer, tanks deal 10 damage to nearby enemies and slow moves. Uh, nope, spike gloves. Yep. Time for the rogue again. Let's start down there. Ah, good times. Yay, victory. Okay. On some of the bigger maps, you can get six tokens. But still, that's still a lot of battles to go through just for 50 tokens if you don't buy the uh, pass. If you don't buy the battle pass. Throw, I'll throw my buster. I'll throw a saint in there for some protection. Uh, we'll throw a flag bearer here. Uh, that was probably that flying rogue, yeah. So as you can tell, I have 5, 10, I have 12 level 30s. And I have the 12 additional. I actually unlocked. You can see I have two level 30 warriors. This one is my raging warrior that does 30 more 30% 30 more damage. This one is my uh, my rally warrior that does the uh, the boost. Now, I'm probably not going to do another vengeful. I will probably won't do a vengeful warrior. 100 base damage to nearby enemies on death. I'm probably not going to do that. I mean, I should, so I have, you know, one of each. But I'd rather... That's a one-time thing. This 30% more damage to melee units, that is while he's active. I mean, it's the entire time he's active. The 20% damage boost to nearby allies every 5 seconds, that's while he's active. This is just a one and done. These are continuous. I'll probably pick one of these again. Um, uh, I have the second archer. Uh, this one is the extra 20% damage. My second one was the long shot. Uh, when I unlock a third, I'll probably pick the pitting because that's a decent, decent skill. Uh, the rogue, this one is a swift foot. I cur the other one I have is an assassin. And uh, my third one, I unlock it. I'll probably get the charming rogue. Uh, the tank. Currently, you have a breacher tank and I think a heavy tank. I think I have a heavy tank. And I'll probably will not choose a martyr tank because, again, this is one and done. 
I don't care for those, you know, upon death skills. I showed the warrior, the paladin. I don't have my second paladin is not at level 20 yet. Where is he? Here he is. He's at level 14. But this paladin is the uh, duelist that does an extra 25 damage. The my second one I'll probably make a champion and give the 30% healing bonus. Um, because I mean 20% more defense but 10% less damage. I mean he does 200. Well, he does 11. So I mean he's gonna get knocked down to nine. I guess I could do that. 20% more defense, but 10 less damage. Because, again, 10% of 11 is 1.1. So if you run it down, he's instead of doing 11 damage, he's doing 10. So maybe I will do... Maybe I will do that one. Maybe we'll do the Heavy Paladin next. Because this is just a healing bonus. <clears throat> uh, the Barbarian. Again, he's not... I don't have a second one too high. I'll probably do the Heroic Barbarian. Because, once again... Grant nearby allies a 20% damage boost every 5 seconds. <clears throat> uh, the Berserker. Um, I don't know if I want the extra 10 to armored or the wider range. I might do this one because it boosts nearby melee unit attackers by, a wide, by 3 instead of 1. I'm probably going to do Warpath Berserker for this one. Uh, my Centurion. Uh, I can either boost nearby Iron Burn units by 10% or boost by a wider range. That one might be tough. That one might be a tough decision to make. there throw my bomber there throw a tank up here and it's gonna be ready for our battle rice milk DJ and dead man's plat thank you very much for all your help let's see how well we do My rogue is going to go ham on these over here. That's why I put them near the the biggest grouping of these. This way I can, you know, <clears throat> take out the most. Who is Swiftfoot? That DJ Swiftfoot. Oh my god, is that spider left? Alright, GG's everybody. Nice job. Nice job. Uh, what boon do we have for this boss battle? Every five second vampires consume adjacent skeletons. If consumed, it gains 300% damage. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go refined arrows. And the perfect, perfect stage for this. Perfect stage for these refined arrows. So anyway, uh, yeah, the Centurion, this one's going to be tough because both of these are good. Whether I boost it by an additional 10 um, has ten percent defense against all rolls, or over a wide, wide range. That one's going to be a tough decision to make. Uh, my flying rogue uh, takes thirty percent less range damage. Or do I want to move 50% fat? I might do Swift Flying Rogue to match up with my Swift Foot uh, Rogue. I'll probably choose this one. But both are both of them are good to be. Uh, my Monk. 
This one does over a wider range. And again, this is on death, so that's a one and done. So I'll probably choose Mighty Monk. 25% extra damage to armored units. I'll probably do that one. Uh, Musketeer. I think this one I did over... Yeah. Extra range that boosts the attack power nearby. Uh, see this one he has a wider range of his on his own i'll probably do this one boosting others in a wider range as opposed to only one this would be three and then that's it this is my Second archer. The third one. I no, oh, back up here. I think I discussed that. I'm gonna get this one next. The long shot. Actually, no. He is a long shot. This one's the dead eye. This one's the long shot with the extra range. So the pinning. That's right. The pinning archer is the one I'm gonna get next. So. Well, there's no, there's really, well, I want to buy these two. I do like, I'll, I'll go into Vampire in a second there. Um, I just hit level 20 with my Vampire the other day. Each kill grants a 30% move and attack speed bonus for five seconds. I like that. And again, I did max out. I bought, as you saw, I bought all the, the Necromancer scrolls. So I I spent all the keys I wanted. Even getting the three additional skins here. So, I mean, I don't want or need anything. Because, you know, I'll get this naturally. Because I, I try and have a full complement of, of uh, captains that I'm helping. <sighs> Dead man, rice, milk, DJ. Again, thank you, thank you all for your help. If you come hang out and chat, you can earn channel points that can be used uh, on Stream Raiders goodies, gold or scrolls. I've actually been playing Dungeons for two hours. I'm surprised. Although I was eating for some of it. Maybe that made it go a little quicker. But yeah, we've been playing Dungeons since 7 o'clock. I didn't think I'd go this long with Dungeons. So. And then most of this gold on my captain's account is from uh, lurking in... Uh, other streamers and getting the drops because I did get the uh, it's the only skin I have for my necromancer in this is the necromancer skin from the the drop oh excuse me so I mean, I should be using these keys. Well, not should. I could be using these keys to uh, buy these chests. It would have been nice to be able to get some more Necromancer scrolls, but that's a lot of scrolls I got to get. And I don't, you know, I don't go deep into the dungeons, as you saw. Best run is seven. So every seven runs, I'm resetting, you know, if that, and, you know, that's, even if I go four, you know, one, two, three, and four, that's two, three, four, and one, that's 10 keys for four battles. So 
four times 15, that's 60 battles just to get the next set of Necromancer Scrolls for sale. I don't have, I know, again, it wouldn't take too long. Well, 60. There's what, 20? No. Let's start. Each battle is what, seven minutes? 10, nine? You know, that would take uh, quite a few hours, and I don't have that. Because I don't play the, you know, I don't play dungeon exclusively. Alrighty. Support to 40% mages. We'll do the support. All right, another rogue. And if somebody wants to put a rogue over here, rogue or two over there, to get this uh, lightning bolt, that power up. Because I'll grab this one here on my way down. Victory! No. Hey, Marsh! How have you been, sir? Good time zone to you. Glad to see you in chat. Hope you're doing well. How have you been? doing good love to hear it I love to hear that Marsh uh, we beat Super Mario RPG a half hour into the stream so we've just been doing uh, stream Raiders dungeons for the rest of the day we're gonna pick up a new game on Monday Oh my goodness. So, we're just doing dungeons for now. When I die, uh, that'll be the end of stream. So, I'm getting in when I can. I watched the Nintendo Direct. I didn't exactly react to it. Um, my reactions are, meh. There's really nothing in there. Uh, the last couple of Nintendo Directs, there's really no games in there that I am super, super excited for. Um, I don't play most of the games that they advertised. I mean, it's great that you know Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is getting 48 DLC courses. You were asleep. I don't blame you, Marsh. It's, you know, I won't say it's late for you, but it's later. Um, I don't play Xenosaga. I don't play Earthbound. I don't play most of the other games that were advertised. You know, a, a number of them I'd never heard of. But, yeah, for you it's 11 p.m. But, uh... I don't play a lot of the games. Yeah, Earthbound. Uh, Earthbound and Earthbound Origins, I think it said, uh, are available to the Nintendo Online members. Oh, yeah, that's 3 o'clock for you, yeah. Because you're six hours ahead. Six hours ahead for me on the East Coast of the U.S., yeah. But... Uh, but yeah, I don't. I, you know, I went through it earlier on here, but I don't really. I don't play any of the games. That tank game, I have zero interest in. Um, a number of the other games, I'd never heard of. I've never played a Xenosaga game. 
Again, it's nice that Mario Kart 8 is getting DLC. It's paid DLC, but again, people paid for Smash Brothers DLC. People paid for Legend of Zelda DLC. It's nice when DLC is free, but you know, you're getting 48 courses. Dead Man Spl Dead Man Splat, thank you for the epic paladin. Very kind, very generous of you. Thank you very much for that epic unit. Yeah, 48 remastered 48 remastered courses from older titles. I want to say it's $25 total cuz I hope it's not $25 for each pack cuz it's it's eight tracks in six waves over the next year, year and a half. So, and it's $25. I just don't know if it's $25 per wave or if it's a flat fee you think people are again they also said it's in, if you have the uh expand the uh nintendo online plus the the you know the 80 dollars one that the dlc will be included in that so they're really trying to get people to buy that nintendo online plus and i got it I haven't used it, but I got it. I'm still trying to get one of the, uh, I think she's done. Yeah. Okay. No. All right, they're all doing dungeons. You're yeah. You already bought it. I already bought it. I'm trying to get one of the, uh, Nintendo switch, Nintendo 64 wireless controllers. So I can play Paper Mario the way it's supposed to be played. But they're freaking sold out everywhere. So I will have to uh, wait and see for them to come in. All right, Dead Man and DJ, let's go. Let's see what we do. Who's going to get to the power up at first? I did. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Nope. Never mind. All right. GG's. Next stage. Uh, archers have two range. Two range and 15 more damage. Let's go. Let's buff our let's buff our archers. Oh, and this asshole. Hell yeah, we're gonna buff that archer. Anyway. You did it because of the Zelda. And that, and I understand that. I did it for Paper Mario. Again, I already had it. You could say, I, I don't know if I'm wasting it because, you know, I have some games that use online services and I think you need the Nintendo online, like for Animal Crossing. I think you need the Nintendo online services in order to be able to like visit other islands and such, but, or maybe not. Maybe you just need internet access. I don't know, but I have it. I haven't played any of the games in there. What is, what is, I'm sure, it's, uh, Marsh, I'm sure it's coming. Because if they put Ocarina of Time on the Switch, I am sure, um, I'm sure Majora's Mask is coming. They may, they may wait a bit. So. Oh, <sighs> good times. Coming in February? Well, yeah, again, you never know. I'm just looking at on Best Buy's website to see if they have uh, see if they have any controllers. I doubt it.
Let me sort by price. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they're going to have it either. Nintendo Switch Sports, yeah. There are some people that will buy it. Again, I probably won't. But there are some people that will buy Nintendo Switch Sports because they have that nostalgia for Wii Sports. Yeah, I'm not even seeing the... Uh... Yeah, now we're in the 30 range. I'm not even seeing the accessory there. I'm just checking various store websites to see if I can uh, see if anybody has any in stock. $70 for a Dr. Mario Amiibo. Yeah, I don't think so. Crazy. Is it weird that you're just... No, it's not. Again, I don't... I'm, I'm not that enthused about it either. Doubt it's there. Seems like Walmart. It's almost like an eBay, and they're selling ridiculous shit. No, nope, our battle's ready. Let me get these two units here on the field. JT, FSC, DJ, and Dead Man. We're gonna curse those fuckers because that, that fucking cannon, cannoneer is a bitch. Yeah, he took out two of our units. All right, next boss battle. all the grounded rules all right what do we got here shiny crystals god we are toast on this one
Uh, I think we're done on this one, and this will be it for the night. <sighs> nope. Nothing for Breath of the Wild 2. Not even a whisper. Which I I didn't ex I didn't expect anything. And anybody that did, uh, shame. I'm not seeing a controller anywhere. Nowhere. Not even advertised. Yep. Ain't nobody got them. Anyway. Yeah, this just may be it for... Oh, hell yeah. And I'm the only fighter on the field. This is going to be it. Three minutes, 20 seconds, and our, my night is over. Which isn't actually too bad. We still went to 9.30. We're very close to it. We've been playing dungeons for the last two and a half hours. So. But yeah, I'm, I don't know what they're doing as far as Breath of the Wild 2 goes. If they're going to release information, when they're going to release information. So, it'd be nice to find out, especially like a title, you know, because nobody knows what the damn thing is called either. checking Twitter at the moment. Oh, good times. Good times. What do we got? 33 seconds. 
And then our night is over. Because there's no way in hell we're winning this. the last one so we'll do haste why the hell not Holy shit, we won. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. If that warrior is going to fucking apply shock, go for it. <clears throat> well, I guess we're still going. We're going to go again. Welcome in, Valerie. I probably should have changed my stream title. <laughs> but Valerie, welcome in. Thank you very much for the raid. Hope you are doing well tonight. We'll do a shout out for Valerie playing Monster Hunter Rise. Welcome in, Valerie. Welcome in, Raiders. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, my name is Cecil, or Cecil, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, variety streamer. I've been uh, streaming a lot of RPG and JRPG stuff. Uh, hello, Valerie. Welcome in. Thank you very much for the raid and for the host. Very kind of you. Um, we actually just finished up Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars earlier. And... Uh, we're going to start a new game on Monday, but today I figured we'd just finish out the rest of the day doing Stream Raiders Dungeons. And yes, no, you're welcome. You're welcome for the shout out. Thank you very much for, for, with, for the raid and bringing your folks over. How was, uh, how was Monster Hunter Rise tonight? Do anything fun in there today? Uh, I did, I used to... <laughs> Uh, I've seen Monster Hunter Rise played. I have not played it myself. So I hope all, all was well. I hope you had some good monster raids tonight and were able to kick some beast hindquarters. Uh, but yeah, again, as, uh, as you... Great trying to get the hang of it again. Right, right. Yeah, I... I, there's like, isn't there like 16 or 14 different types of weapons that you can get in there? And you got to be proficient with them all. Well, proficient with those that, you know, you like. Um, I was never really big on two-handed weapons. I think, I know they do a lot of damage, but for me, they're a little too slow. I usually like the one-handed weapons, but I've seen it played. I've never played it myself. So... But yeah, as you as you raid, I'm like, oh, I probably should have changed my stream title because I'm sure it still says Super Mario RPG. And we've been doing Stream Raiders for the last two hours. 
Um, but yeah, we finished uh, Super Mario RPG earlier. We're going to be starting Life is Strange on Monday. Uh, weekends or Yakuza weekends here. So. But yeah, it's very nice of you to stop over. I'm probably going to be wrapping up here soon, too. Uh, with just me on the battlefield with two minutes to go, I'm sure I'm going to get my ass handed to me. So I said after I died again. Yeah, it does say Super Mario. I realize that as you rate it, I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're not playing Super Mario anymore. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Val. Thank you very much. But, uh, yes, I've never played a Life is Strange game. Uh, but when True Colors was released, Steam had like a package sale, a bundle sale for, uh, the first one remastered and then, uh, beyond the, before the storm remastered. So, uh, we're going to start the first one on Monday. The first Life is Strange remastered on Monday. And then I'm playing Yakuza Kiwami 2 on the weekends. We're doing, I have all the Yakuza games. So, for the foreseeable future, it's going to be Yakuza all weekend, every weekend. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you very much, Val. Um, again, I saw some people play True Colors a little bit. And, it you know, it looks like a choose-your-own-adventure thing, so... It's going to be fun, uh, but it's the, the game is really getting hammered on Steam. A lot of the reviews are just hammering the game on Steam. Uh, that it's buggy, it's glitchy. You know, all they did was remaster some of the graphics, and, you know, the play style is still kind of garbage. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. You know, a lot of the comments on Steam are are you know just play the original so it's gonna be interesting i'm still gonna try it out oh yeah 26 seconds left and just me i am toast i am gonna be toast let's see how far i get at least so but yeah, once this battle is over, actually, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure I'm going to die here. And then uh, that'll be the, the end of, of today's stream. I shall wrap it up. One unit, me. Let's see how much damage I can do to these guys. Oh, yeah. Fight, little guy. Fight. Get him. Get him. Slap him. Kill him. 11, 12. Okay, take down 13. Can I see 13? Come on, 13. Oh, I got 12. <laughs> Val, thank you very much again. I'm going to wrap up here myself. But again, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the host. Thank you for stopping by. You go, have, you go enjoy some dinner. What's your dinner tonight? I had... Uh, I had Italian sausage. I had Italian sausage with peppers and onions. It was very scrumptious. What do you got on what do you got on tap for tonight? Oh, that'll do. Oh boy. Alright. Let's dump out of pretzel rocks here. I think, oh, I can close that out. I don't want to open that. I can put these back up. Close that out. Pasta? Now, see, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a traitor to my heritage. I am Italian. I don't know if you can tell by the fuzzy hair. Uh, but I am an Italian, but I do not care for pasta. Um, I grew up with my mother, who... Uh, is from like the German side and she cooked a lot of meat and potatoes and sausage and stuff. And I prefer that I'm a meat and potatoes guy as opposed to like a pasta and sauce guy. So would you enjoy that? You have a good night. Again, I say it all the time and I do mean it every time I say it. Thank you very much for stopping over. Maybe we'll see each other again. Um, but uh, this is going to be it for tonight. We're going to wrap it up. We played uh, 
We played Dungeons for two and a half hours. I didn't think we'd go an hour. We actually did two and a half hours of Stream Raiders Dungeons tonight. So, uh, again, I can now update my... Um, I can update my channel with another... Another game in the books. Um... I don't think I can get out of here. Can I? Can I go back? Yes, I can. Uh, all right. I can now add another game to my list. So that makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is now 12 games that uh, I've completed on stream. Uh, let me. I'm going to update it right now. Actually, I'll update both panels. Wrong one. This one. That's that one. And Update this to Life is Strange Remastered. Right? Yep. Okay. And as I was saying earlier, I will probably have to update my stream schedule for Lent. Because of... Okay. Because of Lent and I will be busy on Wednesdays with drill, I will not be able to uh I will not be able to stream. So I'm probably gonna move it to Thursdays. So that'll be I got temporary just for Lent, but uh I will uh, I will have to move it. So Thank you very much to everybody that stopped by. Thank you very much for the raid, for the host. Thank you to everybody that lurked, that helped out in Stream Raiders. Thank you to everybody who gave me a little bit of their time today. Or a little bit of your time whenever you watch this VOD. So, um, with another game in the books for the foreseeable future, Yakuza Weekends. And on Monday, Life is Strange Remastered. Let's see how aggravated I get at the Xbox prompts when I'm using a PlayStation controller. Um, so as I say at the end of every stream, uh, in the immortal words of Jerry Springer, take care of yourself and each other. Uh, get your vaccination. Get your booster shots. Let's kick COVID in the ass. Um, I'm tired of it. I really am. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of hearing about the deaths. I'm tired of hearing about individuals who are just flat out denying this thing, whether it's the virus itself or any of the uh, medicinal aids to help combat it. Science isn't political. The previous federal administration made it political. Science is not political. Get your shots. Um, again, that's my soapbox during at the end of every stream, but so yes, until we see each other again, if it's the weekend for Yakuza weekends, or if it's for life is strange on Monday, thank you again for stopping by. Thank you for giving me a little bit of your most valuable asset, your time, uh, stay safe, be well. I thank and appreciate every single one of you and you all have a pleasant day, evening, a pleasant time zone, as they say. Bye!